Today in this video, I am doing a quick review for QG LED grow lights. After using these lights, I am very impressed. These lights are ran at 30% max power so they can be passively cooled without a fan and they run only warm to the touch. These two strips are the ultimate version which includes a mixture of warm and cool white LEDs along with a few red and infrared diodes. Combined, these two strips only consume 73 watts. This may sound low, but we will look at the PAR footprints compared to a higher wattage light at the end of this video. Using a mixture of warm and cool white LEDs best approximates daylight. Daylight is more than just the sun. You also have to factor in the sky itself. The sun is filtered through the atmosphere making direct sunlight averaging roughly between 4000 and 5000 K, which changes depending on the time of day. The ambient light from the sky is closer to 6000 K, which is where the bluish hue comes from. So by mixing different color temperatures of white LEDs, you provide a more broad spectrum of light, artificially. There are two main reasons why I like these lights the results in plant growth, and the PAR footprint. This is just the beginning stages of growth, but is more than enough for an observation. I grew these soybean plants under a cheap 115 watt white LED panel from Amazon. Both sets of lights are set to have the same light intensity at the plant canopy. You can clearly see the stems are thinner, less rigid, and also have longer node spacing compared to the one grown under the QG LED light strips. The plant grown under the LED light strips look healthier, has very tight node spacing, and has a stronger, thicker stem, which are all attributes of spectral quality. I measured the output for both lights using a 3x3 footprint. The numbers listed are for 6, 12, and 18 inches from the light. Looking at these charts, you can clearly see how spreading the light over a larger area with lots of lower watt LEDs is much more efficient than trying to throw more power into a smaller light with less LEDs. Having a more intense, smaller light just creates a zone closer to the light that is not even usable, which also restricts vertical growing space. These light strips allow for a more efficient, better use of wattage, and the plants can grow to within an inch of the light and not be adversely affected. The PAR output within 3 inches of these QG Ultimates is around 500 micromoles, which is just about perfect for most plants. The strips used in this video were 3 foot long, but you can also buy the combo units like these 4 foot strips that run about 24 watts each using warm and cool white diodes. This is a 3x3 PAR footprint for those. These are fine to use for all stages of growth, but for better production I recommend the ultimate versions. For more info or to purchase these lights, you can click the link below. QG LED is a Canadian based daughter company of Quick Grow, which has been in the horticulture business for 25 years. There will be more to come with these lights, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.